Now we'll discuss the 11th most common question asked by the non-Muslim is, the 11th misconception in the mind of the non-Muslim is that if Islam is against idol worship, why do the Muslims bow down to the Kaaba? The reply to the allegation is, no Muslim ever worshipped the Kaaba. Kaaba is the Qibla, is the direction. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 144, that wherever you are, bow in the direction of the Kaaba. The Kaaba is the Qibla. For example, if the Muslim want to offer Salah here, some will say less face, north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. So for congregation, for unity, all the Muslims face towards one direction, that is the Kaaba. So Kaaba is our Qibla. And the Muslims, they were the first people who drew the world map. And al Udrusi in 1154, was the first human being who drew the world map. And when the Muslim drew the world map, they had the South Pole on top, North Pole down, and Kaaba in the center. Later on, the Western cartographers came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole top, South Pole down, yet, Alhamdulillah, the Kaaba is in the center. So whichever part of the world you are, and if you're on the north, you face towards the south. If you're on the south, you face towards the north. If you're on the east, you face towards the west. If you're on the west, you face towards the east. Kaaba is the center. Now, when we Muslims go to Makkah, and during Umrah, or Hajj, or while doing Tawaf, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. Now, why do the Muslims circumambulate around the Kaaba? Because it's the commandment of Allah and our Rasul, we do it. But the logical reason that I can think of is that when we circumambulate, we know that every circle has got only one center. So when we're circumambulating, we're testifying that God is only one. Furthermore, the statement of the second Caliph of Islam, Hadrat Umar Malla be pleased with him, Radiallahu An, he said it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Hajj, chapter number 56, Hadith number 675. Hadrat Umar Malla be pleased with him said, pointing at the black stone, Hajj Aswad. This black stone can neither benefit me, can neither cause me any harm. Only because I've seen the Prophet kiss it, that's the reason I'm kissing it. This statement that the black stone, Hajj Aswad, can neither benefit any Muslim nor harm any human being is sufficient to prove that we Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. And furthermore, during the time of the Prophet, there were many Sahabas who stood on the Kaaba and they gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he or she worships. This is sufficient proof to show that we Muslims, we don't worship the Kaaba, the Kaaba is only the Qibla.